not in your emotions, not in your emotions, but deep in your spirit. You're looking for that smooth velvety feeling. Uh, and you're yeah. looking for the eh, 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 scratch. If you step in the wrong direction, there's something going to scratch you on the inside saying, uh, don't go that way. It'll come yeah. deep. The spirit of the man is candle of the Lord, searching all the inward parts of the belly. God leads you, the spirit leads you from within, whereas mm -hmm. your soul will lead you around by the nose. <laughs> your mo yeah. your emotions, your mind, your we have we have ties with people. We miss people, you know, when someone dies. Yeah. We miss them. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. But we're not supposed to sorrow as a real sorrows because we got to keep an eternal perspective and realize they've moved on. Yeah. Sometimes it's hard to draw that line between your soul and your spirit. Here's something uh -huh. else that might help you just briefly while Scott's getting all connected. Okay. Is to um, double up on the word. Take some time or really double up on the word. Putting it, Actually, not just reading it, but putting it in your mouth. Because yeah. the word of God is quick and powerful. Mm -hmm. Hebrews 4.12. Sharper than any two-edged sword. Dividing the sunder between the soul uh, and the spirit. Yeah. And the more you word up on some a situation, the more it will chisel away at your own thoughts and emotions and allow the spirit to rise up in your heart. So you'll know the difference between what's God and what's you. Yeah, that's good. Thank you. You're welcome. You. Good, mo good morning, Pastor Scott. Good morning. I'm sorry. I have some technical issue in the morning, but I got on. Yeah, uh, well... I sent you a text and I thought, well, he's not gone yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, glad I'm you so made sorry. It. No need to apologize. We're just glad you made it. All right, great. So I don't uh, know if, if we uh, need to start with prayer or do we want to continue? Oh, Renee and I were just having a, a visit where nothing has been officially started because okay. nobody understands what I'm saying. But her. <笑>可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以
经文上面给我们特别多的一些教导，我们才能够进一步的来来继续下面的教导。好 ，So the Bible references many places in the New Testament that tells us to walk in a certain thing or a certain way. So I want to talk about that before we talk about praying in. I want to talk about walking in. Okay, 在圣经里面呢，呃，有提到很多有一些事情是我们当如何行。所以我们在祷祷告进入今天的主题之前，我们当如何在灵里祷告？我们要先整理出来我们在基督里面当如何行的这一块。So I want to start in Acts chapter fourteen. 好，我们先来看《使徒 Acts chapter Acts chapter fourteen》。嗯哼。OK，《使徒行传》第十四章。Yeah. And I want to build a little bit of context, Scott. So we're going to read several verses. 好 ，OK， 我们来先把一些背景给搞清楚啊，所以先来读几个经文。I、want to start reading in the eighth verse, and I will read one verse at a time. Okay, 我们先从第八节开始，十四章第八节开始。Let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. All right, verse eight. And in Lystra, a certain man without strength in his feet was sitting, a cripple from his mother's womb, who had never walked. 路斯的城里坐着一个两脚无力的人，生来是瘸腿的，从来没有走过。This man heard Paul speaking, Paul observing him intently, and seeing that he had faith to be healed. 他听保罗讲道，保罗定睛看他，见他有信心，可得痊愈。Said with a loud voice, "Stand up straight on your feet," and he leaped and walked. 就大声说：“你起来，两脚站直。”那人就跳起来，而且行走。Now, when the people saw what Paul had done, they raised their voices, saying, in the language of the country, "My gods, the gods have come down to us in the likeness of men." 众人看见保罗所做的事，就用吕高尼的话大声说。有神借着人行降临在我们中间的。Barnabas they called Zeus, and Paul Hermenus, because he was the chief speaker. 于是称巴拿巴为丢斯，称保罗为西尔米，因为他们说话灵手。Then the priest of Zeus, whose temple was in front of their city. Brought oxen and garlands to the gates, intending to sacrifice with the multitudes. 有城外丢失庙的祭司牵着牛，拿着花圈来到门前，要同众人向使徒献祭。But when the apostles Barnabas and Paul heard this, they tore their clothes and ran among the multitude, crying out. 巴拿巴、保罗二使徒听见，就撕开衣裳，跳进众人中间，喊着说。Saying, "Men, why are you doing these things? We also are men with the same nature as you, and preach to you that you should turn away from these, unless、uh, these useless things, to the living God who made the heaven, the earth, the sea, and all things that are in them." 诸君为什么做这事呢？我们也是人，性情和你们一样。我们传福音给你们，是叫你们离弃这些虚妄，归向那创造天地海。和其中万物的永生神。Verse sixteen, who in bygone generations allowed all nations to walk in their own ways. 他在从前的时代任凭万国各行其道。Nevertheless, he did not leave himself without witness in that he did good, gave us rain from heaven and fruitful seasons. Filling our hearts with food and gladness. 然而为自己未尝不显出证据来，就如常施恩惠，从天降雨，赏赐丰年，叫你们饮食饱足，满心喜乐。And with these sayings, they could scarcely restrain restrain the multitudes from sacrificing to them. 
。两人说的这些话，紧紧的拦住众人，不限计与他们。The point I want to bring out here out of this passage is the in verse 16, it talks about how God allowed nations to walk in their own ways, generation after generation. But now that Jesus has come, he's given us new ways to walk. Idolatry is only one way that the nations have walked apart from God. But turn away from it, we must, because God associates idolatry with the ways that nations have walked for generations. So now I have several scriptures that I'm going to give for reference.、Um, I don't know if I'll read all of them.、Um, I'm really not sure how I want to approach it, but there are many verses that talk about ways to walk with God. 有，圣经很多的经文是。提到如何跟神来同行的经文。And the number one way that God wants us to walk is in the light. 那第一个神要我们与他同行的，第一个是在跟他在光里面同行。It doesn't take long to find the scriptures. I found four verses just like that that talk about walking in the light. 那么要找到这样子的经文并不难，在圣经里面，我很快就找到四处的经文，如何在与光跟他同行。So I'll read one from the Gospels, John chapter eight, verse twelve. 我从约翰福音第八章十二节来看。Are you ready, Scott? Yes. Then Jesus spoke to them again, saying, "I am the light of the world. He who follows me shall not walk in darkness, but have the light of life." Jesus 又对众人说：“我是世界的光，跟从我的就不在黑暗里走，必要得着生命的光。” Days gone by, whole nations have walked in darkness because of idolatry. 因为拜偶像的关系，有好几个世代都是在黑暗里面来行走。But for the two, the New Testament believer, now we have the light of light, and God intends for us to walk in that light. 但是对新约的人来说，我们已经有神的光，耶稣的光，他已经来了。那我神也希望我们行在如此的光里。Paul said in Romans chapter six, verse four. 在保罗呢也说，在罗马书 ，in Romans chapter six， yes， verse four， 六章四节，罗马书六章四节。Therefore we were buried with him through baptism into death, that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so also we should walk in newness of life. 所以，我们借着洗礼归入死，跟他一同埋葬，原是叫我们一举一动有新生的样式，像基督借着父的荣耀从死里复活一样。Remember, Jesus is the light of life. 我们记得耶稣是那光的生命。And that is the newness we are to walk in. 而这样子，我们也必须要行走在这其中。Um. There's a, another verse in First、um, John chapter one. We should all know and be familiar with, but we'll take a look at it as well. I've got two more verses in the, under this heading. We'll look at First John one seven. 在约翰一书一章第七节 If we walk in the light as He is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, His Son, cleanses us from all sin. We walk in the light, as He is in the light, and the blood of Jesus Christ, His Son, cleanses us from all sin. We walk in the light, as He is in the light, and the blood of Jesus Christ, His Son, cleanses us from all sin. This is a passage of scripture we should all have highlighted in our Bible. 
这一个经文是我们应该要在我们的圣经里面把它特别的注明出来的。The blood of Jesus actually in the original Greek that word cleans the blood of Jesus cleanses us. The original Greek carries with it a connotation that that is a continual cleansing. Okay, 这里所提到的洗净我们一切的罪，这里在希腊文呢是原文有持续的洗净的意思。That's an indication that once the blood of Jesus is applied to our life, it continues to work. This 表示说，当神的血已经在我们的生命中的时候，它会持续的洗净我们。Um, let's interrupt here for just a second. I'm going to take a little side trip off my notes because if we're going to talk about First John one seven, we also have to look at First John one nine to get the full picture of this continual cleansing. <laughs> 那我们。必须要再来提到第九节，因为呃，持续性的洗净这样子的一个概念，可能会更加的加深。Even though we may understand that the blood of Jesus is continually cleansing us and helping us to stay righteous， 我们知道说，耶稣的宝血是持续性的在洗净我们，让我们能够在公义的里面。We should also take note of the next verse， 呃、uh, ，two verses down。我们也必须要来看接下来的两节哈。It says, "If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness." 这里所提到，我们若认自己的罪，神是信实的，是公义的，必要赦免我们的罪，洗净我们一切的不义。That cleansing happens when we get born again. 这样子的洗净呢，是当我们。呃，在重生的时候开始的。The moment that we believe， 当我们信的那一刹那。But that doesn't mean that we're not going to make mistakes or have sin in our life in the future。但这并不代表说我们在以后不可不会再犯罪的。And this is why we have First John one nine。这也就为什么我们有约翰一书一章九节。Try as we may, we're going to miss it from time to time. 有时候我们仍然会有这个犯罪的时候。And this is where we use this verse. We confess our sins and expect the blood of Jesus to continue to cleanse us to keep us holy. 所以才会有这个经文出来。我们若认自己的罪，啊，那之后才会洗净我们一切的不义。Knowing and understanding that is part of walking in the light of life. 我们要知道。其中之一是我们要持续性的走在光中。And then I want to under this、uh, walking in the light one more verse out of I want to look in the book of Revelation. 那最后我们来看。Twenty one. Twenty one. 在启示录二十一章。And this is about the millennial reign. This is about toward the. This is the, the end of it all. The culmination. This is about the culmination. OK， 这是已经提到最后的结局，然后整个世界最后的结局。Um, it's about the New Jerusalem。是有关于新耶路撒冷。And I'm I'm talking about it because it's talking about the nations walking in the light。我这里说要讲到这经文呢，是因为这里有提到万国都走在光中。I'm going to start reading in verse twenty-two。我要来提到第二十二节。I saw no temple in it, for the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are its temple. 我未见城内有殿，因主神全能者和羔羊为城的殿。The city had no need of the sun or of the moon to shine in it, for the glory of God illuminated it. 那城内又不用日月光照，因有神的荣耀光照，又有羔羊为城的灯。The Lamb is its light. 又用羔羊为城的灯。Verse twenty four, and the nations of those who are saved shall walk in its light, and the kings of the earth bring their glory and honor into it. 列国要在城的光里行走，地上的君王必将自己的荣耀归于那城。Walking in the light is not just a bright light; it's It's an an indication of understanding. 
在光里行走，不只是说我所有我们物质界在光亮的地方行走，而是走在一个、yeah. 一个明白真理的地方。And understanding that we are forgiven. 也了解到我们是蒙赦免的。Understanding that His light and glory is available to us who are born again. 也知道说他的光跟荣耀对我们这些重生的来讲是一个赏赐。Understanding that we've been cleansed and made righteous and can walk before God. Without shame or guilt. This is a key part to walking as a believer, walking in the light. All right, so let's look at something else now. Let's look at walking in the spirit. 再来，我们来看如何在灵里面来行走。Two verses. 有两个经文。Second Corinthians chapter twelve, verse eighteen. 哥林多前书十二章 ，chapter twelve, verse eighteen. Right. I'm just going to read the last couple of phrases. Okay, sir. Alex, 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 在这里，保罗讲到的是，呃，有一有一些人跟他有有一些争执的。But Paul says something quite interesting here of these people and his fellowship with them. 但保罗也讲了一些蛮有趣的一些事情，有有蛮值得探讨的事情。He says, "Did we did we not walk in the same spirit?" Did we not walk in the same steps? We are not in the same line of walking, of walking, of walking. We are not in the same line of walking, of walking, of walking. And when he's talking about walking in the same spirit, of course, he's talking about the Holy Spirit. He's talking. 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 He's 是他讲到是走在信心跟光里面，这宝贝的光里面。He's talking about believing the same things. 他提到的是我们相信的是同样的一件事情。Sharing common interests and goals. 也都有同样的一个目标跟呃兴趣。Not just with each other, but with the Holy Spirit and God. 或者是。不只是彼此，也在圣灵跟神里面。And then we'll go to Galatians chapter five now. I guess there are two verses in Galatians chapter five that we'll look at briefly. Okay, 那我们到哥 Galatians. Galatians, yes. Okay. 我们到哥罗西书第 OK 不是哥罗西书 Galatians. Let me see. 加拉泰，加拉泰哈，对，加拉泰书第五章。Ready？ 加拉泰书第五章，第呃 ，OK， what verse？ 嗯、um, ，We're gonna look at two verses, verse sixteen, and then on to twenty-five. OK， sixteen and then twenty-five， 十六，然后跟二十五节。So he says, first of all, he says, "I say then, walk in the spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh." 我说你们当顺着圣灵而行，就不放纵肉体的情欲了。We'll talk more about this later when we get into the praying in the spirit part. But 我们慢一点再来提到这个经文哈。等一下再提到在圣灵里面祷告的时候。Verse twenty-five says, "If we live in the spirit, we will also walk in the spirit." 
，我们二十五节，我们若是靠圣灵得生，就当靠圣灵行事。All right, so I'm going to skip ahead in my notes for a minute because I think now's a good time to mention it. I want to talk a little bit about the three-part nature of man. 那我要来提到人的三个呃天性。Are you familiar with that teaching, Scott? No. All right. <laughs> This is. Very important to understanding the things of the spirit. This, 对于如何的来了解在灵里面祷告或者灵里面的事情是很重要的。When speaking of the human experience, 当我们提到人的经验的时候 ，or even of our existence as human beings, 甚至于提到说我们人人类的。存在这一件事情。There is three parts to our nature. 我们的本性呢，有三，有分为三个部分。Um, and God said in the beginning that He would create man in His image and after His likeness. 当然，神一开始创造人的时候，就说我们是照着他的形象跟样式所造的。I'm a firm believer in the Trinity. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. 我非常的相信三一神这个论说，父、子、圣灵。And there is a Trinity, a part of、uh, the、um, our being is very much a triune being. We're not gods, but we are triune. 我们我们的存在也是三方面的。我我们是三方面的一个人，就像神他是三一神一样。Let me explain. Human beings are spirit beings. 人呢是个灵人。We have a soul. 我们有个灵魂。And we live in a body. 而我们活在一个身体里面。That is the that's the three parts of man: spirit, soul, and body. 我们人有三有三方面，灵魂跟体。I'm gotten a little ahead of myself. We'll come back to that. <laughs> okay, 我我刚刚可能跑的有点快了。But having said all of that, in looking at this verse out of Galatians now, Galatians five twenty five. 我们再看看刚刚加拉太书五章二十五节。No, five sixteen. Galatians five sixteen. 十六节。If you walk in the spirit, you'll not fulfill the lust of the flesh. 如果你们顺着圣灵而行，就不会放纵肉体的情欲了。The lust of the flesh is part of our physical body. 那么肉体的情欲，它是属于我们肉体的一部分。When a person becomes born again, it's not their physical body that gets born again; it's their spirit man. Their spirit man gets born again. 当一个人重生的时候，不是他的肉体重新生出来的，而是他的灵重生出来。The spirit of the man is recreated; it becomes a new creation in Christ. 而这个人呢，他是他的灵重新被造了，他也在基督里面成为新造的人。The Holy Spirit comes to dwell on the inside of us. 而圣灵在来在我们的里面居住。That part of us will never die. 而这一个部分的我们呢，是永远不死的。For that matter, all human beings are eternal beings. 也因着如此，所有的人类呢，它都是一个，都是会永远存在的。If we're born again, we'll live eternally with God. 如果我们是重生的，我们将跟神在永生里面。And if we're not born again, we are destined to enjoy an eternity in torment. 那但如果我们不是重生的话呢？我们就变成也仍然永远活着，但是是却在一个 some,、呃、some might call that eternal death. 折磨的地地步里面。What is the soul of the man? 
那么人的魂呢 ？It's it's the part of us that's like the bridge between the spirit and the flesh. 魂呢，就像什么？就像是灵跟肉体之间的桥梁。It would be our mind, our will, our intellect, and our emotions. 它就是我们的思想、思维、情感、情绪。Hebrews chapter four verse twelve talks of being intertwined with the spirit. The soul and the spirit of a man is so closely intertwined; it's very difficult to tell the difference between what is the soul and what is the spirit. 在希伯来书里面也有提到说，人的魂跟灵其实有时候很难分辨。Renee and I were just talking about this before we came on. The only uh, way uh, to The only way to judge between the soul, where your own thoughts are, and the spirit, where God's thoughts are, is the Word of God. 那么，唯一能够来去分辨说，到底这个思想进来是自己的魂的思想呢，还是说是从神来的思想呢？唯一能够帮助你分辨的是在圣经里面的话语。Hebrews four twelve says that the word of God is quick and powerful, sharper than a two edged sword. 在希伯来书里面有提到说，神的话是大有能力的，就像两刃的剑，两刃的剑可以分别万事。Dividing between the soul and the spirit. 可以把灵跟魂刺入破开。It goes on to say that the word of God is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. 而且神的话会将我们的心思意念跟神来的启示这话语做一个很清楚的分辨。So when we get born again, the Holy Spirit comes to dwell on the inside of us. 所以当我们重生的时候，圣灵又来住在我们里面。And if we're going to walk in the light of that life, that's going to be a life in the Spirit. 那如果我们要在这样子的生命来行走的话，在灵里面来行走的话 ，So that scripture says, if you walk in the spirit, you'll not fulfill the lust of the flesh. 如果你在灵里面来行走，你就不会去靠着私欲来行。So the question we have to ask ourselves is, who's in charge? 所以有时候我们要问最主要问题要问我们自己，说到底谁在掌管我们？ Is your fleshly desires telling you what to do, or is it the spirit of God on the inside? 是肉体的私欲在掌管你们，还是在你里面所居住的那位圣灵 ？If that you follow the leadings or the promptings of the spirit within. 如果你跟随着在灵里面这样子的感动来行 ，You'll not follow that path that leads you to sin. 你就不会。去跟随那引导你进入罪恶的那一条路。Our flesh and bone body likes to do the wrong thing. 我们的肉体永远会喜欢去做不对的事情。But the spirit of God on the inside will always lead us to do the right thing. 但圣灵在我们里面永远会引导我们去做该做的或者对的事。The thing that pleases God, the things that are in the His light. 那在行走，他所喜悦的事，一定是在他的光里面。Amen. Amen. Is this too elementary, Scott? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Is it too hard? <laughs> no. <laughs> 会不会太容易，或者是太太困难？今天的道理，我想都不会了。<laughs> All right, so. We're just laying some foundations here. If we're going to talk about praying in the spirit, we've got to understand God is a spirit. We need to understand that God is a spirit. And His way of communicating is spirit to spirit. And His way of communicating is spirit to spirit. And His way of communicating is spirit to spirit. If we're walking through our Christian experience, and we're having、um, God speak to us in ways through the natural man. 如果我们在与神同行的经历当中，神跟我们这个自然人，就肉体的人来沟通的话 ，I promise you that's a compromise because He would much rather speak to us spirit to spirit. 
对他来讲，那是一种好像妥协，因为他比较希望跟我们是在灵里面来沟通。When we're new believers first learning to walk in the spirit， 当我们是新的一个新的信徒的时候，我们正在学习如何在灵里面来行走的时候 ，He will do things to communicate with our natural man。他会做一些事情。的，他会做一些事情来跟我们自然人来沟通，让我们说能够注意到他。But honestly, he does that because we're carnal. 但他一开始这么做是因为我们是属肉体的。Okay. 好吗 ？Am I making this clear, all right, Neff Scott? Yeah. Is this relevant? 对我们来讲，刚刚所讲的是不是？呃，跟我们心似乎相应的哦，我们大概都有起初信主的这样的经验。<笑> right, okay, all right. So let's go a little farther. Walking in love. 好，我们再进一步的如何在爱里来同行。Again, this is a this is what the scripture tells us to do. We are to walk in the light, walk in the spirit, walk in love. 那这是圣经里面的啊，符合圣经里面。第一个，我们在跟他在光里同行，然后在在灵里同行，然后在爱里同行。Two scriptures， 有三个经文。在以佛所书五章二节。And walk in love, as Christ also has loved us and given Himself for us. An offering and sacrifice to God for a sweet-smelling aroma. Romans. 也要凭爱心行事，正如基督爱我们，为我们舍了自己，当作馨香的供物和祭物献给神。Very often, the Christian experience is a working and living for others. 呃，常常在基督里面，我们的经历就是行走在爱里，为为别人来。呃，在爱里行走，也为他们活。Sacrificing our own wants and needs for the benefit of others。有时候我们也，呃，牺牲自己哈、啊，为着成全成全所有人的好处，是牺牲自己。All right, and then John chapter second John verse one or chapter one verse six to John one six。Okay, second John one six。约翰二书一章。This is love that we walk according to His commandments. This is the commandment that, as you have heard from the beginning, you should walk in it. We, if we follow His commandments, we will walk in love. This is love. You have heard from the beginning. This is the commandment. Jesus gave us two commands. Jesus gave us two commands. Love God with all your heart. 尽心尽心尽意的爱神 ，and love others as much as you love yourself， 而且爱人如己，爱别人也如同你爱你自己一样。God is love， 神是爱 ，He is spirit，He is light， 他是灵，他是光。And when you walk in these things， you're walking as He wants you to walk。而你走在。你如此行的话，你就走在一个他要你走的道路上。There are other verses that we'll not go into tonight, but I'll just mention them. There's one admonition that says to walk in wisdom. 那么 another... 在这有其他的经文有讲到说我们要在智慧里面来行走。And then another scripture that says to walk in truth. 另外是在真理来行走。And then there are a bazillion. <laughs> many, many, many scriptures that tell us to walk in Him. 那其他有很多的经文提到说，在是在它里面来行走。And then there's also an admonition in Ephesians to walk in good works. 那也有提到说，在行善上面来跟他同行。It's not possible to pray in the Spirit. 在灵里面祷告是不可能的。如果 without a basic understanding of spiritual things， 
如果我们没有了解到一些基础基本的在灵里面的一些事。So now we'll move on into the topic for today of praying in the spirit. 好，那我们就进入今天正式的主题，就是如何在灵里面来祷告。All right, so we'll start in Ephesians chapter six, verse eighteen. So 我们在以佛所书 Ephesians chapter six, verse eighteen. Yes.、Okay. Highlight it in your Bible. 六章十八节。Vision six eighteen, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit, being watchful to this end with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. 借着各样的祈祷和祈求，随时在圣灵里祈祷，并且要在这世上很久警醒，为众圣徒祈求。So very often, I, I bump up against this question: What is praying in the spirit? What does that mean? 常常我在想说，在灵里祈祷是什么 ？And so to ask that question opens a very broad topic that could go in a million directions. 那讲到这里的话呢，其实它会打开很多的呃更多的主题哈、哦，我们可以来讨探讨。The more we study it, the more complicated it becomes. 那我们越深入的学习的话呢，其实就会。感觉到里面更多的，呃，会有更多的料可以挖出来。So I'm going to do my best to keep it simple today. 所以我今天会想要把它尽量的简化。So I'm examining the word spirit first of all from a dictionary. 那我们来这里先来看看“灵”这个字从圣经从这个呃翻译的词汇里面来是什么。It's a multifaceted word. Because this word, it has many different aspects. So here's a few phrases that will help us with our discussion tonight. Here are a few words that we can look at how to deal with it. One definition for spirit is a supernatural being or essence. 在字典里面谈到“灵”这个字，有提到说是一个超自然的呃存在体。It can also be considered a disposition of mind, often characterized by firmness or assertiveness.、Um, yeah, like、可以。Okay, a dis disposition 也可以说是在超乎我们。人脑可以去理解的事情。I'll give you. I'll use it in a sentence. It's like someone does something with spirit. They're enthusiastic. Okay. 比如说，有些人他是他做做一件事情，他很热忱，他知道这就是他所应当要做的。They're passionate about something. 或者他们对某一件事情充满热忱。So they'll do something with spirit. That's the disposition of their mind. They're very enthusiastic about something. 对，这他们就可能会抛开一些理性的去做这件事情，就是从他们灵里面发出的很热忱的一件事情。So、uh, another definition for spirit is an inclination, an impulse, or a tendency to do something. 那么另外一个解释呢，是你好像有一个倾向，有一个。有一个冲动要做某一件事情。It can also be used to describe a prevailing tone or tendency, such as the spirit of the age. Spirit of the age. Okay. Like a pre, like、uh, all the crazy things that we see going on around us, and we say,、okay. "What is that? It's a spirit of the age." Oh, okay. We're going to look at. 世界现在也发生很多很乱的事情嘛，那我们知道说，在这地上，呃，世界的灵也在运行，在做他要做的事。All these things help define what spirit is. 这些其实都帮助我们去来认定什么叫做灵。But now let's go to the Word of God. 那我们现在来到神的话里。The Bible uses In the English language, we have many ways that, in many words, 
uh, no wait, many concepts that are translated as spirit. 在呃，圣经里面很多的话语，很多的概念都被翻译成灵。First of all, we know that John told us. 我们知道说约翰有说 ，God is a spirit. 约翰有跟我说，神是个灵，而这个灵这个字是大写的。When I say capital S, that means a deity, the supreme deity. The supreme God is a spirit. And in English Bibles, that will always have a capital S. In the English Bible, it will always have a capital S. S 那一个字是做大写。I don't know how it is in the Chinese language, but we dif- have a difference between the human spirit and the Holy Spirit and God. In Chinese, we'll skip a space before we write a word. We we'll just in we we'll, we we'll just skip a space and write a word God or Spirit. That's how we would describe. Instead of capitalizing, you don't have capitalization, so you have an extra space. Yeah, we have extra space. Yeah. Okay. 我们就像我们的我们中文有时候神啊或者神的那个他，我们会先空一格，然后才写这个字。Yeah. Not all translations and even English translations get it right. 那并不是所有的翻译都是做的对的，因为英甚至英文的翻译没有每一个经文都做对。Sometimes it needs a capital S, and sometimes it needs a little S. Sometimes it's speaking of God as a deity, and sometimes it's speaking of the spirit of man, which is not a capital S. Okay, 有时候在英文圣经里面也一样，有些有些该大写的地方没有大写，有些该小写的地方没有小写。那小写的，如果都正确的话，小写它是有时候是指人的灵啊，或者是呃，可能这个天使啊这方面。All parts of the Godhead are eternal spiritual beings. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. 三位一体的神，他们都是属于这灵里面的最高最高阶。In speaking of the Holy Spirit, the third person of the Godhead. 当我们提到圣灵的时候 ，He is the one who moves in the earth. 他是那一位正在地球来运行。He is the one who comes to dwell in the hearts of men. He is the one who comes in and recreates the human spirit. He is the one who comes in and recreates the human spirit. He is the one who comes in and recreates the human spirit. He is the one who comes in and recreates the human spirit. He is the one who comes in and recreates the human spirit. He is the one who comes in and recreates the human spirit. He is the one who comes in and recreates the human spirit. He is the one who comes in and recreates the human spirit. He is the one who comes in and recreates the human spirit. He is the one who comes in and recreates the human spirit. He is the one who comes in and recreates the human spirit. He is the one who comes in Then there's also the human spirit. 那再来，我们也有人的灵。And that we've already given a little introduction to flesh, soul, or spirit, soul, body. 我们刚刚已经有提到了灵魂体。The human spirit is also mentioned in the scripture. 那么人的灵呢，在圣经里面其实也有提到。Here's an example. 在我们来看提到。Proverbs chapter twenty verse twenty-seven. Proverbs chapter twenty verse twenty-seven. Proverbs chapter twenty verse twenty-seven. Proverbs chapter twenty verse twenty-seven. Everybody sitting in the room needs to say this about themselves. I am a spirit. We 每每一个人都应当对自己来说，我是个灵。I I need to hear you say it. 我需我需要听到你们说，我是个灵。I am a spirit. I have a soul. I live in a body. When your body dies, your soul and your spirit do not. Consider your body the house that you live in. 就想说，你的肉体是暂时你居住的一个房子。When the body dies, 
your spirit and your soul just move out of the house. 呃，当你的这个房子凋零的时候，你的灵跟魂只是离开这个地方。All right, Proverbs chapter twenty, verse twenty-seven. 在二十跟二十七节，二十章二十七节。The spirit of man is the lamp of the Lord, searching all the inward parts of the belly or his heart. 人的灵是耶和华的灯。I don't know how it reads in the Chinese. King James says the candle of the Lord. The spirit of man is the candle of the Lord, searching inward parts of the belly. It's that inward part, the inward part down here. This part down here. I can't even stand up tall enough. This part down here. <laughs> okay. 那探照人的脏腑哦，就是人的肚腑这个地方。Sometimes the Bible translators call it the heart of man. 有时候呃也会提到说人的心。When you see something in the Scripture that's telling you, speaking of the heart of man, it's talking about your spirit. 当圣经里看到说在讲人的心腹的时候，常常就是在讲人的魂。And when the Holy Spirit comes to dwell on the inside of us. When the light comes, the light comes to dwell inside of us. And even though being led by the Spirit of God is not our topic today, we're dancing all around it. 当然，今天的主题不是说如何被圣灵来引导，但是其实我们也在这离这个主题不远。When uh, you know, here in America, we have this phrase saying a gut feeling. 在美国有提到的说，好像在在身体身体里面的肠胃里面的一种感受的感动。Do you know what I mean by that? Do you know what I mean by that? Yeah. So, uh, 在英文里面有一个好像从我我的肠胃出来的一种感动，其实就是我们中文所谓讲的我们的。心心肠里面出来的那种感动。I think it's important for us to listen to that gut feeling. Because it's usually the one that's most in tune with God. 有时候我们常常很重要来要来听到那个心肠里面所发出来的声音，因为那常常是从神而来。Right. So that's where eternal life, eternal life belongs to all. 那。永生的生命是属于我们每一个人。It just really depends on the destination. Are we going to spend eternity with God, or are we going to spend eternity in in torment? 但是这个永生的生命到底我们是会要永远在神的里面呢，还是会永远在那折磨里面 ？Very often, when we're young in the Lord. 当我们常常是在灵里面还不太成熟的时候。We attempt to contact God through our mind, our soul. 有时候我们常常试着以我们的心思思维想要来跟神接触。And He will work with us on that. 呃，刚开始他可能也也会跟我们如此来沟通。But when in doubt, what does your heart say? 但当有怀疑的时候，到底你的心灵是在说什么？ What's going on down, on down deep in your belly? That reminds me of,、um, I don't have it in my notes, but it bears saying here. Jesus referred to salvation as a well, a, a, like a water well. When we get born again, the Holy Spirit comes in and cleanses the in, some deep on the inside. 当我们重生的时候，圣灵会来在我们心里的深处来做一个洁净。I like to say it this way: It feels like you've had a bath on the inside. 我很喜欢这样子来说，看起来好像就是我们在灵里面有洗了个澡，泡了个澡。But then, in speaking of the Holy Spirit, Jesus also said. Out of your belly will flow rivers of living water. 呃，耶稣也跟我们说过，从你的肚腹将活流出那活水江河。And that's pointing toward the 
infilling of the Holy Spirit to the point of overflow that very often manifests as tongues. 而这里所提到的是，当一个人被圣灵充满到一个地步而涌流出来的声音所常提到的就是说方言。Anyone who speaks in tongues will tell you it comes up out of the inside. 任何跟你讲说会说方言的人，他都会跟你讲是从肚子。It doesn't come in through your head. It doesn't come in your ears. 从你的脑袋出来，或者从你的耳朵出来。it comes up out of your belly. That is what many people call praying in the spirit. I can go in Pentecostal churches all across the globe and say, what is praying in the spirit? And everyone there will say, praying in other tongues. 我可以去到世界任何一个地方, 跟, 跟人家问说什么叫在灵里祷告, and I will say that's part, partly right. That's part of the answer. 这是对的, 这也是对的, but there's so much more. Right? So praise God. We are a spirit, we have a soul, we live in a body. Here's a scripture reference for you for that. Second Corinthians 4 7. Chapter 4, verse 7. Mm -hmm. It says, but we have this. It's speaking of the, the light of God, of the born again experience. It says, we have this treasure in earthen vessels, that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. What's the earthen vessel? Well, these flesh and bone bodies were made from the clay of the earth, were they not? Adam was formed from the clay of the ground. He's an earth. Adam was an earthen vessel. Mm. 我们有这宝贝在瓦器里，是要显明这极大的能力是属于神，不是出于我们。为什么说瓦器呢？因为瓦器是从土里面出来的，就如亚当他当初也是从土里造出来。The earthen vessel is the flesh and bone body that we live in. 这地上的瓦器其实就是我们的肉体了。We're just clay pots. 我们只是在他手上的一个瓦器。Some are fine china. Uh, Not me, anyway. All right. <laughs> so, um, I think I've covered most of that. Okay, and then there are also, let's, in speaking of spirits, we don't want to forget about demonic spirits. I think we all understand that there's a world of darkness out there that cannot be seen with the natural eye. There's darkness and there's evil that operate in the realm of the spirit. They operate in a realm unseen. Right? So that brings us back to the question. What is praying in the spirit? I got a whole bunch. Well, I've got a lot more. I have several more scriptures to look at. I hope you're taking notes. First of all, we'll talk about what we'll call the inward witness. What the inward witness is, is that God's spirit 
on the inside, speaking to the human spirit on the inside. So, this evidence is what, or the feeling is what? Is God's spirit talking with us human beings in the dialogue? For the most part, it can completely bypass your mind. Uh, often, it will surpass your thoughts, feelings, or logic. So let's look at some scriptures here. So we're going to look at some scriptures here. Acts 18:5. In Acts 18:5, it says, "In the book of Acts, it says Paul was pressed in the spirit and testified to the Jews that Jesus was Christ." Uh, here it says that Paul was pressed in the spirit and testified to the Jews that Jesus was Christ. Or, with 到迫切哦的传扬，向犹太人极力证明耶稣是基督。There was a an invisible force from God that compelled Paul to testify to the Jews. 这有一个呃灵里面看不见的力量，在使保罗迫切的向犹太人传福音。Haven't you ever experienced something like that? You just, you just feel like you got to say something to somebody. Yeah, 有,有没有这样子的感动过？你就觉得说，好像我一定要对某个人说某一段的话。It's some, it's something deep on the inside of you that compels you, moves you forward to sharing the gospel with someone. 好像在你里面有一个迫切感被。被感动，一定要去说这一段，或向这个人来传福音。I remember when I was first born again. I just wanted to tell everybody it was so good to be free. 我记得我当起初得救的时候呢，我就很想对每个人来传福音。You might call that being pressed in the spirit. 你可能会感，你可以这样子说，就是迫切被灵里面被迫切感动的来做这件事情。All right, so Acts nineteen twenty one. 那使徒行传十八的十九节啊，十九章二十一节。It says Paul purposed in the spirit when he passed through Macedonia to go to Jerusalem. 在这里，保罗心里定义要定义要经过马其顿、该亚该亚往耶路撒冷去。What does it What does it mean to be purposed in the spirit? It 灵里定义是什么意思呢？心里面定义是什么意思呢 ？That means his human spirit had made up his human mind that he was going to do something. 那他的，我是说，他的魂已经决定了要做什么事情。I've had people. I've there are times when individuals have said something to me, suggested something to me. 有时候人呢，他会建议我一些事。And it seemed so right. It was like, yeah, I'm going to do that. 而看起来、听起来，也就是说，哦，蛮很对啊，我我要做，我要这样子来做。That's called being purposed in the spirit. 这是在所就是提到的心里面，好像被定义。All right, Ephesians chapter four, verse twenty-three. 以佛所书第四章二十三节。Now this one could get a little confusing because soul and spirit get confused even by the translators. 在这里呢，可能会有点呃困惑，因为连翻译的也也不见得会翻得很准确。It says in Ephesians four twenty three to be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Okay, 在在这里，连我们的和合本都讲说，你的心智改换一心哦。但像，呃，其新译本就是说，把心灵更换一心。Now, I'm going to take a little. I'm going to take some time with that. Yeah, even our Chinese translation. I am reading two different translation, and they all have different translations. Right, it's a little. It's a little. Vague, so we'll put it this way. Romans twelve two tells us to be transformed by the renewing of our mind. 但我们也很多人都知道，在罗马书十二章二节有说到，我们心思意念要更新而变化。The absolute best, perhaps maybe the only way to have our mind renewed, is by the Word of God. 
。而当我要让我们的心思意念被更换一新的话，可能最好的方式是借着神的话。Here's how this works. We get born again. The Spirit of God comes to live on the inside of us. 我们可以是呃重生的，神的灵在我们里面。But our mind has to be trained to think like God thinks. But our mind has to be trained to think like God thinks. Our mind has to be trained to think like God thinks. Our mind has to be trained to think like God thinks. Our mind has to be trained to think like God thinks. Our mind has to be trained to think like God thinks. Our mind has to be trained to think like God thinks. Our mind has to be trained to think like God thinks. Our mind has to be trained to think like God thinks. Our mind has to be trained to think like God thinks. Our mind has to be trained to think like God thinks. Our mind has to be trained to think like God thinks. Our mind has to be trained to think like God thinks. Our mind has to be trained to think like God thinks. Our mind has to be trained to think like God thinks. Our mind has to be trained to think like God And the more of the Bible you know and understand, the easier it is to understand the things of the Spirit. When God's word, the Bible's word, you know more and more, you will be able to understand the things of the Spirit. I'll say it this way: It's like renewing your mind to the things of the Spirit. We, like our mind, to the things of the Spirit. We, like our mind, to the things of the Spirit. We, like our mind, to the things of the Spirit. We, like our mind, to the things of the Spirit. We, like our mind, to the things of the Spirit. We, like our mind, to the things of the Spirit. We, like our mind, to the things of the Spirit. We, like our mind, to the things of the Spirit. We, like our mind, to the things of the Spirit. We, like our mind, to the things of the Spirit. We, like our mind, to the things of the Spirit. We, like our mind, to the things of the Spirit. We, like our mind, to the things of the Spirit. We, like our mind, to the things Was that clear enough, Scott? Is it clear enough? Yeah, it's clear enough. <laughs> Ask you a question. You answer me in Chinese. I can't understand. <laughs> you did it, it to me twice. <laughs> I had to translate that too. <laughs> <laughs> you had to speak to me in English. <laughs> All right. Anyway, Colossians two five. Colossians. We're talking、Galatians. about the inward witness. Okay, Colossians. Co Colossians. C O L O. Okay, Colossians two. Colossians two five. Okay. And. Colossians two five, chapter five. Remember, we're talking about spirit, soul, and body here. We mentioned the spirit, soul, and body, right? Paul said, "For though I be absent in the flesh, yet I am with you in the spirit." 心却与你们同在，但是英文是灵却与你们同在哦。Joying and beholding the steadfastness of your faith in Christ. 我看见你们循规蹈矩，并且对基督有坚定的信心，就欢喜了。Before before you came on the the call, Scott, many of you came on the call. Renee said to me, "Denise, Taiwan misses you." 那这个呃。刚我我刚比较慢上来，那 Renee 跟他在沟通的时候，他就说台湾很想念。So my reply to that would be, though I be absent in the flesh, yet I am with you in the spirit. 我用同样这句话来回答，就虽然我不在你们那里，但心却与你们同在，或灵却与你们同在。One thing about the spirit is there's no distance in the realm of the spirit. 以灵来说呢，我们我在灵是没有距离。It's there's no time or space. It is no time or space. And when I pray in the spirit, which we'll talk a little bit more about, when I pray in the spirit, which we'll talk a little bit more about, when I pray in the spirit, which we'll talk a little bit more about, when I pray in the spirit, which we'll talk a little bit more about, when I pray in the spirit, which we'll talk a little bit more about, when I pray in the spirit, which we'll talk a little bit more about, when I pray in the spirit, which we'll talk a little bit more about, when I pray in the spirit, which we'll talk a little bit more about, when I pray in the spirit, which we'll talk a little bit more about, when I pray in the spirit, which we'll talk a little bit more about, when I pray in the spirit, which we'll talk a little bit more about, when I pray in the spirit, which we'll talk a little bit more about, when I pray in the spirit, which we'll talk a little bit more But my spirit can see what goes on there. But my spirit can see what goes on there. But my spirit can see what goes on there. But my spirit can see what goes on there. But my spirit can see what goes on there. I have a very dear friend. She and her husband are missionaries in a certain country in the Middle East. That I have a very dear friend. She and her husband are missionaries in a certain country in the Middle East. That I have a very dear friend. I remember one night I dreamed all night about this woman. 有一有一天我记得我整个晚上都梦见这一位姊妹。It was like all night she was in my face and she was crying. 好像整个晚上她都出现在我的面前，而且她在哭泣。I woke up in the morning and I sent her a message through social media. 我早上起来呢，我就传给她一个简讯。I said, "What's going on with you? I've been dreaming about you all night." I said, "You, what, what happened? I dreamed about you all night long." She said, "That's funny. I've been thinking about you all day." That 
这也太巧合了吧！因为我整天也都在想到你。She was in need of prayer. 她在一个情况需要祷告。And God kept us in the spirit in each other's faces. 那神呢，就在灵里面连接了我们，将彼此都带到彼此的面前。Until I had an opportunity to pray for her. 一直到我有机会来为她祷告。What that's called being absent in the flesh and And yet, being with someone in the spirit. That, this is, although flesh and spirit are not together, but they are connected in the spirit. These are things that we might call the inward witness. These we can say are like the inward witness. The still small voice. In the heart, that very small voice. Or a presence of mind. Or just. 呃、uh, ，在脑海里面所出现的的一个同在。I know you're struggling with that one, Scott. I try to use a different word. My notes say disposition of mind, which is not any easier to translate.、So. <laughs> 是超乎我们的思维的。Yeah. So let's move on. We're talking about praying in the spirit. 我们提到。在灵里面祷告，我们来继续。It's so much more than just speaking in other tongues. 是超过于只是哦说方言而已。All right, so in the spirit was also used as、um, a state of being. 灵在灵里面也可以讲到说是在一个呃状态。Then this is a master class in translation. I'm so sorry, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> 这对翻译来讲是个挑战啊，但无所谓。<laughs> All right, so Luke chapter one verse seventeen. 在 Luke chapter one, okay, 路加福音 one seventeen. 第一章十七节。And this is speaking about John the Baptist. 这里提到的是约翰施洗约翰。And Jesus. And it says that John would go before Jesus in the spirit and power of Elijah. 那这里有提到约翰呢，必有以利亚的灵和能力行在主的前面。Elijah moved into eternity hundreds of years before John was born. 以利亚呢是出现在约翰之前几百年。John carried the same spirit and power that Elijah walked in. 而约翰的身上却有如同以利亚的灵和能力。It was the very essence of his being. It's who he was. 就如同以利亚这样子的一个特性一样。All right, Acts chapter eighteen, verse twenty-five. Acts chapter eighteen, twenty-five. 十个行传。This is speaking of a of a of a Bible teacher named Apollos. 这里所提到的是亚波罗这一位圣经的教师。It said this man was instructed in the way of the Lord, being fervent in the Spirit. He spoke and taught diligently the things of the Lord. 这个人在主的道上受过训练，心灵火热。很准确的讲论，并且教导人有关于耶稣的事。I would call it being powerfully anointed by the Holy Spirit. 我会说他这个是很被神圣灵大大高摩的一个人。But if you've prayed with me at any length, you know when I get in the Spirit, there's a level of intensity that I don't walk in in my normal day to day. 对，当呃，丁尼斯莫斯上次来跟我们在一起祷告的时候，你会知道说，如果跟他一起祷告，在灵里面一段时间的时候，他会突然的进入一个呃，跟他平常不太一样的一个领域或者一个一个人里面。Fervent in spirit， 这是表，这是在心灵火热里面。It's the state of my being. That's who I am. 呃，在那个时候会显明另外一个我。All right, two more. Again, in Galatians five sixteen. 
uh, Galatians 5, 16. We've already talked about it. I'm just going to quote it. Walk okay. in the spirit. And you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. If we live in that place, we'll find ourselves in the center of God's will. Verse 25, we've already looked at Galatians 5.25 says, if we live in the spirit, we will walk in the spirit. When I was in Bible school, I had, a, I had a teacher that said, don't be so heavenly minded that you're no earthly good. Don't be so heavenly minded you are no earthly, earthly good. Earthly good. Don't be so so I would say, don't be so earthly minded that you're no heavenly good. We need to walk in the place where we're bringing heaven to the lost and dying. How do we do that? In the spirit. All right. So just a few more here now. We're talking... At, now we're talking about in the spirit being a spiritual experience, like an event. Uh, so I'm going to back up and say, we talked about in the spirit being like an inward witness. And then we've talked about it being a state of being. Like who we are. So the first part is about communication. The second part is about identity. But now this is going to be about experience. Ezekiel 37, chapter, chapter 37, verse 1. Ezekiel 37, 1. Ezekiel said, The hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit and set me down in the midst of a valley. Which was full of bones. Is that something that happened to this natural man? No. But it was a real event that happened in the spirit. These are things we experience things like this all the time in our prayer meetings. Some people might not believe this. But I've been to that valley of dry bones. Twice. The Lord has taken me out in the spirit to that same valley on two different occasions. That's Ezekiel, Rene, Ezekiel 37 1. 
All right. So the hand of the Lord carried me out in the spirit. That's praying in the spirit. Praying in the spirit is not just something we do. Praying in the spirit is where we go. It's a place. And it's a place where we go to, to hear from God. And it's much more far reaching than just mental ascent. First Corinthians fourteen two. I'm sorry, Scott. Looks like we're over time. That's all right. We're it's a little over, but it's fine. We are up till eleven. Good. Right. Good. First Timothy. No. First Corinthians, fourteen oh, first, two. Uh, Corinthians, first fourteen two. This is on earth. And this is a verse that's about speaking in other tongues. This is a verse that's about in other But again, it's not just about what we do in prayer. It's about where we go. All right. 不只提到我们做了什么，也提到我们在灵里面去了哪里。The verse says, "He that speaks in an unknown tongue speaks not to men, but to God, for no man understands him. Howbeit, in the spirit, he speaks mysteries." 那这里提到说，原来说方言不是对人说，而是对神说，因为没有人能听得懂。I like to explain it this way. Sometimes people say to me, I don't know what to do. 我喜欢, 有些人说, if you don't know what to do, it's a mystery. If you will pray in other tongues about that mystery, 如果你会... You will unravel the mystery and open it up to your understanding. It's like a key that unlocks a door. This is how Brian and I have lived our life. God tells us he wants us to do something, and then we have no idea how we're going to do it. So we pray in other tongues till we unravel the mystery and unlock the door. And when we go places, We've already prayed out the whole mystery of it. Most times, not always, but most times things just fall right into place as we go because we've prayed out ahead of time because we prayed out the mystery of it in other tongues. <laughs> We're talking about in the spirit. Go to Revelation, Book of Revelation, Chapter One, Verse Fourteen. Someone sent you a greeting in the chat, Scott. Yeah, I think it's my own brother in Hong Kong. Brother Ricky? Yeah, brother Ricky. Have you met? No. How you no. doing? Good to see you, brother. 
We have now. We've met. All right. So mm-hmm. Revelation chapter one, verse ten. All right. This is John the Revelator speaking. John the Apostle. This is John. John. He was on the Isle of John. When John wrote the book of Revelation, he was on the Isle of Patmos. But he doesn't start out writing that way. He doesn't say, I was on the Isle of Patmos. No, he says, I was in the Spirit on the Lord's Day. And heard behind me a great voice as a trumpet. You don't get revelation with your feet on the ground. You get your revelation in the spirit. You got that? All right, so Revelation 4, 2. Chapter 4, verse 2. We're talking about being in the Spirit. Revelation chapter 4, and 2, verse 2. Right. And John is again speaking. He said, and immediately I was in the Spirit, and behold, a throne was set in heaven, and one sat on the throne. Okay, 我读的是新译本啊，因为新译本确实跟牧师讲的比较准确哈。立刻我在林里就看见有一个宝座，设立在天上，有一位坐在宝座上。That reminds me of Hebrews chapter four verse sixteen, that says we may boldly approach the throne of grace. 这也提醒了我有关希伯来书第四章第十二节或十六节，有关于说我们可以坦然无惧的来到神的宝座面前。well, John was an apostle, but we are not. But we have access to the same throne that John saw in Revelation. John saw actually several thrones in the book of Revelation. We have access in the spirit to the throne of grace. You're not going to see that throne of grace anywhere but in the spirit. At least not in this dispensation. All right, go to Revelation. Okay, uh, we won't look at any more specific scriptures, but I will just refer to Revelation 17, chapter 17 and chapter 21. Use this phrase. John speaks of being carried away. In the spirit, he said he was carried away in the spirit and he saw. Technical difficulty, Scott. Yeah, there was a little bit. I, I got a phone call that came in, but I, I hung up on it. Do I need to repeat anything? <coughs> Okay, but, yeah, I can hear you. Do I, okay, so I was talking about Revelation 17 and 21, how John talked about being carried away in the spirit, and then he saw. You know, when our prayer groups, we pray in the spirit, and very often, many of the people that pray with us see. They see whatever God wants to show them. 我们常常在林里面，我们有一个祷告学校嘛，在林里面祷告的时候，我们会在林里面看到一些事物、事情啊。So let's now let's go back to the scripture we started with, Ephesians chapter six, verse eighteen. It says, "Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit." 
being watchful to this end with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. No, woman. Okay, sorry, I missed some part of it. <laughs> uh, are, am I breaking up? No, you're not breaking up. I was trying to switch my... Oh, that's no problem. Uh, we're we're yeah. rehearsing the scripture we started with, which was Ephesians chapter 6, verse 18, that talks about praying with all prayer and supplication in the spirit. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, so now that we've looked at all these other places in the scripture about in the spirit, you understand that praying in the spirit is not just something we do, it's a place we go. Praying in the Spirit is not just about praying in other tongues. It's, it's the essence of, of our being, and it's that we're to, how we're to walk. Our lives on this earth can and should be spiritual experiences. When we are just as, as comfortable moving in a realm that is unseen with the natural eye, the supernatural realm. When the realm of the spirit is just as real to you as the things of this world. Like, for example, I'll give you a quick little story. I know we're running over time. Do I have time for a quick story, Scott? Sure, sure you have. All right. Well, many, many, many years ago, when Brian and I were first married, <laughs> I had a cousin who was on his deathbed in the hospital. He was several hours away from where I was. And the Lord had been dealing with me for days about praying for him. It's a, long, it's a long, beautiful story that I don't have time to go into the details of. But I will say that God moved in a certain way in my home. Where I was pressed in the spirit to pray. And when I got on my knees, as soon as my knees hit the floor, I was, I was in the spirit. What do I mean by that? My eyes were closed. But it was as if I was standing at the doorway to a hospital room. And I could see my cousin's body laid out in the hospital bed. And there were several things that happened during that time. Long story short, I prayed. Uh, 
What's, there were what's others in the room that were praying with us there. What's, there what's others, in the, others in my house that were praying at the same time. Long story short, we prayed in the spirit. And God raised him up off his deathbed. When all was said and done, I was still on my knees in my living room. But two and a half hours away, that's praying in the that wouldn't have happened if we hadn't prayed in the spirit. I have we have a prayer group that meets here in Indiana and a young woman comes. She says, I love praying with this prayer group. We go places. We go places when we pray. We don't just go places, we get things done. We've learned to pray in unity in the Spirit. And because of that, we expect the news to change on the other side of the world. We have documented story after documented case after documented case. Where the Lord led us to pray a certain way in the spirit. And things so I'm encouraging you not to limit God in your thinking. So don't be afraid to take an adventure in prayer. But I am going to throw in a qualifier, especially for those of you who are new in the Lord. Stay close to the Word of God. God will not give you an experience that is contrary to His Word. And even though we may have grand and glorious adventures in prayer, we don't base what we believe on experience. We base what we believe on what is written in the words. The more of the word of God you have hidden in your heart, the more effective you will be in prayer. When we started out this evening, and I mentioned about praying in the Spirit, we might have had an idea of what that meant. But by the time we looked at all of the examples in scripture to see how it was used, we had a much better understanding of what praying in the spirit meant simply by looking into the word of God.
I got a few minutes for questions. I don't know about you, Scott. Yeah, I have uh, just a, a comments on our Chinese Bible because I'm reading the Chinese NIV and then the Chinese New Translation. Uh, unfortunately, what we use the most is the NIV version, which in many cases really doesn't express or correlate with the English scripture. So I'm just going to encourage them to read the new translation uh, because there's just too much differences. And I believe those differences would cause us a misunderstanding of the word of God. Which translation so, are you encouraging them to read? The new translation. We have a Chinese version called the new translation. Okay. Or, or I should say that's like the new living translation. I think it's just much better than what we are already reading, the Chinese NIV, which really doesn't express the meaning of the, the scripture that's in English version. For example, like I was taken in the spirit or I was moved, I was taken in the spirit or moved and uh, I was in the spirit. The Chinese NIV would say, I am moved by the spirit. Which is still different in the spirit and moved by the spirit. I, I think the new new living translation would just do a much better job. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's one of those things that, like our Chinese Bibles, it should, it should be interpretation, but we do we use the word translation. That's what caused some of us in confusion. You know? I'm so, thankful here in here in the states we have a lot of good study tools available to us right of which i have learned to use for many decades i've been studying diligently for 35 years right, right. or so, more and yeah. so i can tell. i can go back to the original language i can go back to the greek and the hebrew uh -huh. and have a uh -huh. much better picture even of what i can't find in the english i can go to the original right. language right so i'm, I'm just going to say to them um, Womakankandao 我会都会到信望爱里面去一次读几个版本尤其是我会注意这个原文直译然后甚至于去点原文去里面看希腊文原文希伯来原文里面它原本真正的意思是什么所以我也鼓励大家就是要去研读其他的版本要不然的话我真
I don't know when we'll have an opportunity to do this again. 我不晓得我们下次，我我不晓得下次我们还有什么样的机会来做，呃，同样的这个事情哦，因为因为我会接下来会很忙。Our hope is to return in in July to Taiwan. 我们希望在七月份又能够回来到台湾。But I got to go to Uganda first. That's Uganda behind me. 但我必须要先去到乌干达。我我背后后面的照片就是乌干达的照片。Please pray for us. 请为我们在乌干达的行动来祷告。And、uh, our travel schedule is very, very demanding. Between now and the end of October, I have three weekends at home. 我我接下来的时间都会非常的忙碌，一直到十月底，我只会有三个周末是待在我自己的家。其他都不在。Between now and the end of August, I have four international trips. 从现在到八月底，我必须要去到四个不同的国家。Praise the Lord. 赞美主。God is opening the doors, and we are walking through them. 神在开门，而我们也行在这开启的门的路上。I hope tonight's teaching was not too deep. 我希望今晚的的教导不会太深。And that we were clear in how we presented it。我们也会清楚的来，呃，刺入破开，让很清晰的让大家来明了。I understand the language barrier is sometimes difficult。我知道有时候因为语言上面的障碍，我们会有一些困难。One of the most important things for any believer to understand is our three dimensions. 我们很重要的，任何的信徒都应当了解，人有三个层面：灵魂体。Spirit, soul, and body. 灵魂体。Yeah, okay. I got you. Any questions? 目前有没有人有任何的问题，可以趁现在提出来？有很多资料今天。对。或许他们会回来听一遍。对。我刚刚我们当中有一位沈仲荣牧师是吧？能够给一些意见吗 ？I see a pastor tonight come on board. Maybe he has some some comments. I see a pastor came on came on board tonight. I'd like to see if he has any comments. All right. Of course, if he or she doesn't want to raise a question, that's fine too. <laughs> uh, I might have a uh, just a personal question. Um, the the um, do you find it since we have spirit, soul, and body, and we all have they all intertwine and connect with one another? Um, I do. I'm not sure if this is even true, but since I've been back for nine years, um, 我刚才所所提到说我们人有灵魂体啊，那我回来到台湾也九年了。Um, I discover in Taiwan the believers in Taiwan, we tend to have more people with emotional problem, and I'm seeing. A good percentage of people, comparing to the state, that have that have suffered from depression, bipolar, and、uh, obsessive compulsiveness. So, and and I believe that caused a lot of problem in the church. It's it's like we're running around dealing with these issues.、Um, I get. I guess what? How do we deal with these? Because I'm as a pastor now of of AG in Taipei. I'm beginning to seeing and knowing the members of my church, and I'm seeing a lot of issues like this.、And、do you have my? Do you have that book I wrote on depression? 
No, I'm not aware that you wrote a book on depression. Yeah, 20 years ago. <laughs> 20 years ago. Okay. Right. The first book I ever wrote was on depression. And it's still available? Yep. I'll, uh, okay. You can get it out online. You can get it in okay. Kindle. Okay. It's, I'll, called, I'll... It's, it's a self-help book. I wrote it for pastors. <laughs> and okay. actually, I'd say to people who buy it from my book table, if you're buying this for someone else, read it first because it will help you help them okay All it's right. it's it's got a lot of truth for both ways it helps you understand what they're going through and how it works and it also helps them and i've had people bring this book back to me and in, in shreds because they've literally worn it out All right, well, and they bring it back to me in tears saying this book has changed my life Mm, and it okay. operates under the and this is the this is your challenge you don't have a good chinese translation of the bible but the yeah. word of god the word of god is so anointed that every believer can initiate and maintain deliverance for themselves simply by speaking and meditating in the word of god mm. and people who suffer with depression have a deficit of the word of god in their life Mostly because they can't control their thinking. They can't st stay focused long enough to put one thought in front of another. Mm -hmm. but if, you, if they can get the word of God in their mouth, their uh -huh. mind will start responding. The best way to control your mouth or your mind is with your mouth. Okay. Can, can I address that for a minute when you're done? Uh, yeah, when I'm done. Hang on just a second, though. Okay. Like, for example, here's an example, Scott. Whenever... Um, you, let's say you wake up in the morning and you're tired. Uh -huh. And as your day progresses, you talk, you mention to your wife, man, I'm tired. And then the more, the longer the day goes, the more you talk about being tired and the more tired you become. Uh -huh. And it's because our mouth tends to frame our world. Well, reverse that now. Put the word of God in your mouth. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. And it will change, your mind will respond to that. Your mind, your body responds to what comes out of your mouth. You say you're tired. Oh, I'm tired. And you just get more tired as the day wears on because your body responds to what comes out of your mouth. Well, um, there is a demonic side to depression, but that's the mm -hmm. devil taking advantage of a physiological condition mm -hmm. because the chemicals in the body get out of balance. And so you need a twofold blessing. They need healing and deliverance. But mm -hmm. you start with the word of God. Mm -hmm. and you can cast a you can cast a devil out of somebody till you are blue in the face. But if they don't get healed, they'll never be free. Mm -hmm. They won't stay free because if they don't have the ability to control their their thinking, the devil just come right back. Mm -hmm. Let me translate briefly. Translate what what just went on, <laughs> and then Renee has something she wants to say. Yeah, um, because now I'm in a church. I'm going to sit that for just a second, Scott. I'll be right back. Okay. Yeah, I noticed that in Taiwan's church, because I've been there for nine years, right? So, actually, in Taiwan's church, as a whole, 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 呃，情绪问题的人很多，有情绪问题的人很多，有比如说，呃，忧郁症、躁郁症及这个强迫症。好、哦，那据我所知道，这这三种这样子的情绪上面的症状，都跟缺乏安全感有关系。好、哦，那既然我们今天提到灵魂体，我就跟牧师问了一下，就是说有没有有没有可能在。呃，灵魂体上面这种不健康的状态下，该怎么样去处理？该怎么处理？因为，因为这其实造成教会必须要花很大的精力，因为人的情绪的这个问题，要花很大的精力去解决、去处理这些，因着这些情绪问题所造成的冲突跟问题。但牧师是跟我讲，他也有写一本跟忧忧郁症有关的书了。我也有出一本跟忧郁症有关的书，那在台湾是叫做《挥别忧郁，进入丰盛》。那显然牧师也有一个跟这个
呃情绪有关的书哈，这是他已经是可能搞不好二二十多年前写出来的跟忧郁症有关的书，所以我们会想办法拿到手，甚至于看看台湾有没有可能有个出版社把它翻译出来，然让能够来成为台湾的帮助，因为我真的发觉台湾有这样子情绪问题的弟兄姊妹真的还蛮多的，真的不少。Okay, uh, Amazon, depression, the silent shame by Denise. Okay, depression, the silent shame. What about the、uh, depression? Silent shame. Okay, you have, about. are you ready for Renee? Yeah, I'm ready for Denise. Renee. Oh, Renee, what, I Renee. Say, what I wanted to say was when. I received the baptism of the Holy Spirit. I was an emotional mess, literally. And the thing that helped me, this is why I'm such a proponent of it. And I don't see it for pastors in Taiwan. I don't see it being preached near enough. You got to have the word.、Um, Denise, maybe you remember a little book by Charles Caps that talked to pay, about taking the word as medicine three times a day. I literally took. I literally spoke that word out three times a day for years, and then、um, there was also a Patricia King CD that has different titles of,、um, you know, scripture based on love, wisdom, victory,、um, spirit man, and I try to listen to that every day still. So I I am a firm believer in what Denise said, and and it's. It's got to be the word. It starts with the word. It works in the word. It ends in the word. That's、and、how it's、I、maintained. That is definitely how it's maintained. People might get deliverance in the altars, but if they don't maintain it with the word of God, they won't keep it. Amen. And、um, let me also add, Scott, about the book. In the back of the book is an an appendix,、uh, and it has a. The appendix in the back of the book is quite extensive, and it is lists it is scripture after scripture after scripture for meditation and confession,、mm -hmm. and they're all scriptures about victory. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Those、mm -hmm. kinds of those kinds of verses that we have to put on our mouth. It's not just about reading the word. You have to speak it because、right. there's something about the mouth mind connection. I don't understand it. I can't explain it. But the、right. absolute best way to control your thinking is with your mouth. Like you can have a wrong thought, a sinful thought, come to your mind multiple times in a day, and you could think, "Oh, I shouldn't be thinking like that," and still be thinking that thought at the end of the day. But if you have a wrong thought, a temptation, a temptation thought, come to your mind. Instead of just <coughs> pushing the thought aside, if you can say with your mouth, "No, I'm not going to think about that," it's gone, and it won't come back. Your mind says, "Oh, okay, we're not thinking about that."、Mm -hmm. Your mind will respond to your mouth, what you what comes out of your mouth, and you need to be speaking out of your spirit. Out of there, out of your belly. Okay. 刚刚 Rene 有提到说，嗯、呃，他刚开始信主的时候是一个非常情绪崩溃的一个人，但他也借着几本书来帮助他。有他有提到 Patricia King 啊 ，Charles Cab 啊，那里面都有提到说，呃，用神的话一定要，不管你医治释放之后，要常常在神的话里面，甚至背诵神的话。思考神的话，或者把它背诵出来。哦，那牧师他所写的这一本跟忧郁症有关的书，他其实后面是充满了很多的经文，尤其是来对付情绪的这样子的经文的。我想也有也有可能在比较上面来讲，台湾的弟兄姊妹真的花时间在神的话语上面不多，我我敢说不多，因为。真正会花时间在神的话里面，常常反复思想的人，他们的思维，哦，他们的灵应该是很不容易落入情绪里
面，或是像忧郁症、躁郁症这样的这些问题里面哦，所以这是很很值得我们思考的。其实我们在网络上面如果找对付情绪的经文，或者对付忧郁症、躁郁症的经文的话，其实有很多会出来哦。那如果我们真的把它不只是思考，而牧师有讲到说，把话语讲出来。就是把神的话语从口宣告出来，其实它对我们的脑是有影响的，哦，所以如果有任何负面思维进来的话，你你可以想说，哦，我为什么会有这个进来？我不想要再想，但是它可能常常还是会再回来。但是如果这个思维进来，口宣告说，哦，我们不想要再，我们不想要再重复的接受这个思维，甚至你迟迟你就开始朗诵神的话语，它对你的。思维跟你整个人的一整天是会有影响的哦。Amen. Scott, when I worked for Brother Hagen, depression was the number one topic across my desk. Really? And in the eight years that I sat there answering letters for him, I will say that I dealt with no less than five thousand cases. Wow. And okay, you don't deal with that kind of volume without God talking to you about it. And I got my answers on that subject while I was sitting at that desk. And when I left the job, God said, "I want you to write a book on depression." Ah,、uh, okay. So, eight, have eight years of time, he's in the ministry of counseling. Then 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 he's in the ministry of counseling. 哦，他几乎回答了五千封信，是跟忧郁症有关的，所以也因为如此，他在呃结束了那段工作工作之后，神就让他写了一本跟忧郁症有关的书。I will also say the depth of the understanding didn't just come from that. My mother suffered from it when I was a child. I was raised in a home with a mother who was mentally ill. You don't look And... like one. <laughs> I have lived. I have lived. What I know what it's like to live in that environment.、Mm -hmm. And I had a cousin when I was twelve years old. I had a cousin at the age of twenty-four that took his own life. Wow.、Uh, And、okay. those, I've I've lost some friends. The last friend that I lost to it was what drove me to write it. And it's dedicated. The book is dedicated to the two that I know that are lost to the to the illness.、Mm -hmm. You lose to that illness, you move over into eternity. You're right. And、yeah. so, I'm not just speaking from sitting behind a desk. I've lived it.、Mm -hmm. And I can say so, personally, because of the things the Lord taught me about it, I've missed some really good opportunities to be depressed myself. <laughs> because of the principles that he taught me and that I learned, that are written in the book, I I missed it. It missed me. I bypassed it. Uh, uh, 牧师有讲到说，有专有关于这个主题哈、哦，他不是只是因为有有服侍在那个事工里面，他自己的母亲就是一辈子有忧郁症。那他是在一个有忧郁症的母亲底下长大的。他在十二岁的时候呢，也有一个呃表，可能表姐、表妹在二十四岁的时候自杀。那时候他才十五岁，十二岁，所以他是人生有这样子亲自的去经历这些呃问题，但也因着神的话跟神的一些原则、法则哦，让他。能够对这些事情夸胜得胜，所以我想他的书应该是很值得我们去找出来翻译出来，然把它做一个做一个整理。我相信会对我们台湾是蛮有帮助的。好，那 Scott, if we can find a translator, I'm totally open to the idea of it being translated into Chinese. Into sure, please. Yeah, if I I can surely find translator like that, that that should be should be easy. If I can have a I mean, we can usually we find a publisher first, and it's if it's within their target, you know, we do it. It's、yeah. still one of the number one sellers off my book table. 
Ah, Especially after COVID. Cool. I, who knew that 20 years after I wrote it, it would be still yeah. as much demand is still needed as much as it was when I wrote it. I wrote it in 2003. Mm -hmm. 2001, sorry, 2001. 2001. Okay, I will, we'll talk about that, getting that book published later. Uh, I'm okay. surprised you're asking me. I, I, I'm thinking, you didn't, I didn't, sorry, you didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know. I, <laughs> I have your other books with other Oh, I can preach it. <laughs> I preach it all the time. Yeah, it's, just, it's me. Yeah. All the time. We, we have teenagers having suicidal thoughts suicidal signs in our church that's it's in there so, yeah it's in the book see if you can't find it let me know but it's out there on kindle it's available on okay. kindle yeah i'll look it up okay how okay little, tonight's little, topic was it all right yeah yeah amen okay all right. i'm gonna i'm gonna do a wrap up okay so all right and then you and i need, need to talk after everybody else leaves okay sure all right Okay, if there is nothing else, 没有如果没有其他的问题，我们就做一个祷告结束了。好，好，那来闭闭上眼睛，我们来做个祷告。主，我们感谢你今日将话语给我，让我们晓得说我们人很确确实实的有灵魂体这样子的一个架构。我们是个灵人，拥有一个魂，也暂时住在这身体里面，而这身体。不能完全的去定义我们是谁，在灵里面那个人才是永远，才是有价值，才是有那进入那永恒的。所以说，我们一位子的线上感恩感谢。就是觉得我感激你，我感激你在我们这里这样子的一个安排，祝福我们所听进去的都能够成为我们的祝福，成为我们灵里面的营养，也能够祝福到其他人。阿丽丽，我感谢你。老师，我们今日一日心怀意念都在你里面，而且奉耶稣基督名告，阿门，阿门，阿门，阿门，阿门。All right. Thank you, Pastor. So, thank you, Pastor Scott. Thank you.、Right. Thank you.